My name is R. Crosby Lyles, and this is news from the can. Just checking climate reanalyzer. Uh, this is sea level pressure, and I happen to see this ridge of high pressure here. And this right here, I believe, is Hurricane Florence. And I saw that ridge of high pressure, and I went, uh oh, that does not look good for the Carolinas. Because what happens is typically tropical cyclones will ride along that ridge of high pressure like it just travels down like the barrel of a gun. Checking Ventusky, Ventu Sky, five days out to Monday the 10th, they have Florence right here. Of course, it's strengthening. It's 991 hectopascals, which is 991 millibars. That's 989 millibars, so that's pretty low pressure. But they have it here, and um, some really interesting squirrely stuff. If you go further out, and um, which is seven days, eight days out, and it's raking the coast, which is not necessarily a stretch. Sea surface temperature. I don't really like looking at the anomaly that much. I mean, there's your anomaly. So, 80 degrees, 80-something degrees. Water temperature is kind of nominal right here in the development area. So, um, you know how that kind of stuff goes. Sometimes it's like a crapshoot, but I had to put something up because that this right here, this is, I looked at that and I, you know, just from experience, I said, that's not good right there. And it won't be good for the care, probably for the Carolinas, which is sort of backed up by the Ventusky model here, Ventu Sky. That's where they have it seven days out from now on the 12th Wednesday the 12th so and that's all I got you know I'm not a meteorologist you always want to check with your favorite meteorologist and uh, but I'm just saying if I was living in the Carolinas I'd, I'd be keeping an eye on this one I'd be keeping an eye on Florence. And there's another one behind this right here. And if as you go along, it sort of tracks low down, which is kind of, that's a nominal sort of, that's a typical kind of behavior. When you see twin storms like that, one will be high and one will be sort of low. And the, the lower one, a lot of times, will have a flatter trajectory, uh, sort of more of a westerly trajectory. Um, seems like so there you know this is a model model is a model is not reality it's a model so this is not nothing carved in stone this shit this has this this little disturbance here uh, impacting Puerto Rico but this is a model it's not reality it's a model and that's 10 days out and but this Florence, they've got Florence turning into a major hurricane, which is backed up by the hurricane uh, by NOAA. NOAA says it's going to turn into a major hurricane, and with looking at those pressures, both the high and the low, that seems pretty reasonable. And then they've got this storm just raking the eastern seaboard, which would not be good. So, but you know, who knows? It's a crapshoot. It's always, you know, just a good idea to keep keep an eye on these things. But I'm just throwing that out there um, just to sort of keep my toe in the water. Like I say, uh, meteorology, the people who study climate, are the, the a lot of times they flunk out of meteorology because meteorology is really the harder subject. Being able to do predictions about uh, where a storm's going to go, I mean, that's just not trivial at all. It's That's where they... Those guys are... Men and women are, uh, yeah, they're the real deal. And that's all I got. My name is R. Crosby Lyles, and this has been your update for September 5th, 2018. All is well. Hope you guys are doing good out there. You know, it's always best to keep an eye on what's going on. Be prepared. It doesn't really cause that much to be prepared. Put a little extra this away, a little extra that away. Have your batteries and your flashlights and your storm radio, uh, you know, uh, bad weather radio and all that kind of stuff. Keep your phone charged and stay safe. And that's it. Y'all be good. See you.